Hey, I'm Fight the Flat Earth. Welcome back to the channel that's pretty sure he forgot to turn the gas stove off in Stupidity's Kitchen. They aren't stopping, you know, the flurfs. They flock to my channel the second I upload a video. Leave a comment that proudly displays their ignorance to the world and then spend days arguing with other commenters. Are Flat Earthers deaf or something? Because I've said this before, I'm just repeating myself at this point. Every comment every view, dislike, video you make about me, they all help me, not the other way around, because the more activity on my channel, the higher up in the search results I appear. So that means more people are gonna see my videos and more people are then gonna comment. And it continues. Thanks. <sighs> Guys, if you notice that I tend to pin a stupid flirt comment, you know, always feel free to have some fun with that. Before we get going with today's festivities, I would like to ask for your help. One of the nicest people I've ever met and a big part of our community, Marvel Girl, has been having a real rough time. I'm not gonna go into details here, but suffice to say my issues are tiny in comparison. On the screen and in the description is a link to Marvel Girl's GoFundMe page, and I'll put this in the description as well as her PayPal link. Please go and read her story, and if you can, donate to her cause. Marvel Girl, we all love you. Thank you very much for your help. Okay, so today, I'm a pompous little fuck of a demonic entity parrot. Stick around to find out why. We're living on a disc, floating through space, with a tiny sun. First up is proof that once again I can make the flurfs dance like puppets. I wore this shirt, which you can go and buy by going to a link in the description to Sean Hawkins' Teespring store, in the hopes of triggering some flurfs. Seems like Paige was happy to oblige. You proudly wear a NASA fanboy shill? OMG, I feel bad for the supposed family you're trying to take care of. Thank you, Paige, for helping me with that goal of providing for my family. Every single comment helps. Your t-shirt says it all. Let Buzz or is it Nil tell it right for you and your best curvature. I won't waste too much time on you as controversy sells and this being your only income, you're clearly only about the bunch of emojis. And thank you, Imas. That was a brilliant display of stupid. And again, my family are extremely happy with your contribution to their well-being. Because every time you comment, I get more stupid to display to the world. Brilliant. Next up is Grandfather Dumbass, who's who's my bezzy buddy. He's just displaying here why he is so much more intelligent than us globetards. One of my commenters, Nico Stefan, said that there are three impossible things. Finding a corner in a circular room, finding proof for God, and finding the edge of Earth. What did Ross have to say about this? Seems fair, even though there's apparently 360 degrees in a triangle, and oddly enough in a circle too. Faith would be meaningless if it wasn't a free will choice, and I see no reason why something potentially infinite would have an edge. Have you seen the edge of the universe? Yes guys, you did catch that right. Ross, the self-professed superior intellect that figured out the origins of the moon was giants digging it from the Grand Canyon, has now changed the very nature of the universe by adding an extra 180 degrees to the internal angles of a triangle. You dumb fuck, Ross, don't you ever dare proclaim to be more intelligent than me. When you come out with gems like that. Oh, and by the way, the edge of the universe from our perspective is about 14.26 gigaparsecs or 46.5 billion light years in every direction. Thus, the observable universe is a sphere with a circumference of approximately 28.5 gigaparsecs or 93 billion light years. Anything outside of this is accelerating away from us too fast for us to ever detect. Back in your box, grandfather dumbass. Next, we have a new commenter, 51 Vavince. Before I watch any more, can you demonstrate the globe earth like make an ocean stick to the side of a ball? No punctuation or anything in the whole thing. Ah, a follower of Shed Rage High, it would seem. There's already an example of an ocean stick into a globe. It's called the earth. And to prove that that's possible, just watch this video for proof that mass attracts mass. You are either a well-informed demonic entity, or you have not looked at this with any true understanding. I love the way you make someone sound stupid if your position is so strong. You should not need the dumbing down of the speaker. You are programmed to hell and back again. I know that you think yourself so smart. You're not that smart enough to know that you can't. 
Jerk, I also notice that you seem to think you're the authority in what can and can't be talked about, discussed, because you believe in the knowledge of man. We believe in Jehovah, Yahweh, Adoni, Jesus, the Messiah, and Savior of this world. I suppose that you believe that you're your own God or that he doesn't exist. The way you have to distort the speaker shows how you don't have any good argument other than you believe NASA. Oh, and you have the smugness, so oh, gravity, it doesn't exist, it has to be a constant, never proven, cannot be proven, all your attacks have already been debunked badly. You are a fool calling over stupid, you're a prideful ass. I'm a, I'm a demonic entity, I mean... Do you guys even hear yourself? Government documents emit flat earth, CIA, Army, Navy, NASA, etc. Hundreds of documents from the Freedom of Info dot act. Check it out. No, no, they don't at all. These documents, flat earthers are claiming, admit the earth is flat or reference a non-moving plane. See, I would love for you to actually read the entire document because then you realize how thoroughly stupid you sound. See, the thing is, I don't need to make you look like idiots because you just do that all by yourself every time you open your goddamn mouths. Next up, it's, well, it's just more stupid people, really. The ad on in attacks, name calling and anger make it so convincing. Way to go, nice proof. So funny to see Globetards triggered. Since Globetards can't win, just resorting to name calling. Why don't you formally debate Nathan? He'd so own you. Would love to see that. Of course we'll never see that because you know how that would turn out. <laughs> it's hilarious that you call me out for ad hom name calling. I mean, although that is kind of the point of this particular series. And then reference Nathan Slappy the Clown Oakley. And here's the thing, I want to debate Nathan, but the idea of going on his channel makes me feel kind of dirty. So I asked the community what to do, and an overwhelming number of them said to stay away from his channel. So here's the thing, I will debate Nathan Oakley if he steps outside of his channel, away from his mute button and his echo chamber. So, Mr. Oakley, the ball is in your court, and all you little fans know that I'm willing to debate you. Are you scared? Next up is, oh fuck's sake, it's Captain Capstock again. I watched your entire video, it was total garbage. You keep purposely passing over my comments because you're too scared to address them. E Eek! I just wanted to hear you squeal like the parrot you are. Oh, oh look, I've just stripped and fell on an emoji panel. And here we have Flurf Tactic 307. What Jason here does is start about 8,000 threads on one video and then claim I'm ignoring him. I mean, or too scared to reply because I don't reply to every comment, even though he was on last week's show with a, a whole bunch of comments. Of course we get notifications for your stupid shit. Four laughy face emojis. Watching an impotent retard discuss facts that he thinks are real, even though he has to call them theories, is fucking hilarious, no full stop. To be totally honest with you, all the flat earthers are probably subscribed and getting notifications so they see me ripping your bitch ass apart. Oh, oh, fell on the emoji keyboard again. And here we see his craziness increase exponentially as he goes on to claim that all flat earthers are coming to my channel to see him. Even though he only started commenting on my videos like two weeks ago. And Jason, you're still doing the whole theory thing, huh? Please, Jason, continue. 22 seconds, nothing but insults to start off your shitty show. This is why you get no love for me. Oh, look, punctuation, there's some quick explanation marks there. This is why I keep destroying your comment section, push, because you're a pompous little fuck and you have no reason to be, you have no achievements, you have nothing, all you have done is parrot people that have no evidence of their beliefs. You are garbage, more emojis. And here we see Jason seemingly confused about what channel he is commenting on, because... I'm called Fight the Flat Earth, not Give the Flat Earth Hugs. Of course I'm going to insult the morons that spout this shit. Next up I ask Jason why he uses all caps when he talks. Many reasons. Can you think of some reasons why I would use caps? Can you just answer that question without being rude or condescending? Can you forum a hypothesis of why I would deliberately write a certain wet wait, forum a hypothesis? Constructively and creatively. Just one great reason I write in caps. One. Well, what is it? Well, what is it? Jason, that is a whole lot of crazy and beyond my abilities to analyze. I would suggest seeking professional help, but 
I'm not entirely sure that would be fair to the professionals. So, yeah, that's all from Jason now. But you know what? I'm pretty sure he's going to give us some more brain farts to laugh at for next week. Um, maybe whoever's next up could, you know, give us some intelligence and substance to analyse. You're a dumbass bitch. I'd love to shit on you. Please give me free views. No. <laughs> Why do I give these people the benefit of the doubt? Next. Whoa, this is a total waste of time. You debunked nothing. Looks like Flat Earth is proved again. This is another comment from my last comment show where I'm not really attempting to prove anything, just showing how stupid the Flat Earthers are that comment on my shows. I mean, you just did that, so thanks for helping with that. The next one, I'm sure the next comment's from a flurf. I mean, I think it is. Those dumb flat earthers actually believe their own senses instead of some mongoloid fat fuck man titty dipshits nonsense explanations. How can I be so smart and charismatic as you? Thank you for your continued public service. You're most welcome, I, th I think. Um, I get. How I don't know how to feel. I'm a smart mongoloid. I'm a charismatic dipshit. Moving on. It appears we have the second coming. Those are CGI's. It's obvious that the powers that be have lied to society. I have been seeking truth slash God since I was born. I metaphorically died at the age of 30 and spent the next 22 years reading a thousand books. I have seen a red star follow me. Cross over the dome. It wasn't a star, but a platform vehicle holding four large floodlights. It put on a light show for me. I have many other supernatural experiences. I am Jesus Christ. Trying to convince me of anything is a waste of time. I've been doing this for 64 years. Yeah, so that, that started out crazy. But at the end there, it kind of took a turn to super crazy. Not sure if you guys noticed, but he did say he was Jesus Christ. I mean, mental doesn't really cover it here. Next up is two-time runner-up for Dumb Fuck of the Year, Sleeping Warrior. You are, again, lying about gravity. It's not okay to keep misrepresenting gravity, Craig. Please stop overtly lying. Funny thing how you commented on this video when there's actually a video directed at you explaining why you're lying. Um, but you just ignore that one. Open challenge, Mr. Liley. Me, you, 1v1 debate. Please bring along your definition of the scientific method for us to discuss. You are wise, my friend. Very wise indeed. Whoa, do I love Star Trek Discovery. As for the Orville, well, I'm a Corville and my blue blood family line from France are of royal descent and you have revealed much. Have you seen the Corville township which is coast ties to Paris? I will not conform to any cabal factions. Sorry, it just won't be happening. Many of us have changed our minds and the new old order with us won't fly. Lol, a revolution is coming. And I tell you here and now, or you should be very aware of that. I send my love to you all children of the round flat earth. I love all the different factions of flat earthers there are. And there's nothing better than kind of seeing these idiots destroy themselves from the inside out. Can you imagine the amount of hate that Bob Nadell must be getting right now? Uh, not only him, but probably Jaronism as well. And that's why Jaronism is the next target for an episode of Flurfs Are Idiots. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and you have the notification bell on so you never miss anything from Fight the Flat Earth. Um, I'm sorry that it's taken longer than normal to get my videos out. A combination of being really horrendously ill and my laptop slowly dying has put me back a bit. Bear with me and I'll have everything back to normal as soon as possible. An extra massive thanks to my Patreons. The name's going along the bottom of the screen now. You guys are amazing. Your support is everything to me. And remember, stupidity is not a right. Fight the flat earth. We're living on a disc floating through space with a tiny sun. Fight the flat earth.